The counterfeit scam is one I've seen before. In this market, there's a mix of legitimate and knocked off goods and massive amounts of fake ones. That's not, that's not the right smell. Mm -mm. I know this is a very well-known perfume, very famous perfume. It's not the right smell. Maybe this one is counterfeit. Doesn't look, look. This doesn't look very, very right. Yeah. Very professional. Where's the guy? Is this this is counterfeit, right? Maybe, yeah. It's falso. Maybe, yeah. It's falso. <laughs> Who makes it? You buy it or you make it? Which? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he say, uh, I'm buy it and I make it. You buy it and you make it? Where do you make it? Um, Near here? In Tupita? You make it in Tupita? I can see. You can see? Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt that I'm only being allowed to see this because I'm with Jaime. Even so, it's clearly still risky. Okay, it's okay. We do it. We can do it here. Sí. Lo más rápido que puedas. Aunque no. La botella. Where do you get the bottle from? Ah, la tapas en el tianguis. En los tianguis venden botellas vacías. If you made one with a different brand, so you, you did, I don't know, Calvin Klein or Carolyn Herrera, or would you put the same? Cualquier marca te the, la the same, just in a different bottle? Yeah. Sí. <laughs> and so, how much do all the little bits together cost you to buy? La botella sale en 80 pesos, la esencia 40. Pesos. How many would you sell in a week? 300 piezas. Cuesta 500 dólares en un almacén. That's good money. Sí. 